the book of Ezekiel, chapter 1. Now in the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river Chebar, the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. In the fifth of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiachin's captivity, Yahweh's word came to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chebar, and Yahweh's hand was there on him. I looked, and behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with flashing lightning and a brightness around it, and out of the middle of it as it were glowing metal, out of the middle of the fire, out of its center came the likeness of four living creatures. This was their appearance, they had the likeness of a man. Everyone had four faces, and each one of them had four wings. Their feet were straight feet. The sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like burnished bronze. They had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides. The four of them had their faces and their wings like this. Their wings were joined to one another. They didn't turn when they went. Each one went straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they had the face of a man. The four of them had the face of a lion on the right side. The four of them had the face of an ox on the left side. The four of them also had the face of an eagle. Such were their faces. Their wings were spread out above. Two wings of each one touched another, and two covered their bodies. Each one went straight forward. Where the spirit was to go, they went. They didn't turn when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches. The fire went up and down among the living creatures. The fire was bright, and lightning went out of the fire. The living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now as I saw the living creatures, behold, there was one wheel on the earth beside the living creatures, for each of the four faces of it. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like a bear. The four of them had one likeness. Their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel within a wheel. When they went, they went in their four directions. They didn't turn when they went. As for their rims, they were high and dreadful, and the four of them had their rims full of ice all around. When the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them. When the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Wherever the spirit was to go, they went. The spirit was to go there. The wheels were lifted up beside them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. When those went, these went. When those stood, these stood. When those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up beside them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. Over the head of the living creature there was the likeness of an expanse, like an awesome crystal to look at, stretched out over their heads above. Under the expanse, their wings were straight, one toward the other. Each one had two which covered on this side, and each one had two which covered their bodies on that side. When they went, I heard the noise of their wings like the noise of great waters, like the voice of the Almighty, a noise of tumor like the noise of an army. When they stood, they let down their wings. There was a voice above the expanse that was over their heads. When they stood, they let down their wings. Above the expanse that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And the likeness of the throne was a likeness as the appearance of a man on it above. I saw as it were glowing metal, as the appearance of fire within it all around, from the appearance of his waist and upward and from the appearance of his waist and downward. I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and there was brightness around him. As the appearance of the rainbow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness all around. This was the appearance of the likeness of Yahweh's glory. When I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard a voice of one that spoke. Ezekiel chapter 2 He said to me, Son of man, stand on your feet, and I will speak with you. The Spirit entered into me when he spoke to me, and set me on my feet, and I heard him who spoke to me. He said to me, Son of man, I send you to the children of Israel, to a nation of rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even to this very day. The children are impudent and stiff-hearted. I am sending you to them, and you shall tell them. This is what the Lord Yahweh says. They, whether they will hear, or whether they will refuse, for they are a rebellious house, yet they will know that there has been a prophet among them. You, son of man, don't be afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns are with you, and you dwell among scorpions. Don't be afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they are a rebellious house. You shall speak my words to them, whether they will hear or whether they will refuse, for they are most rebellious. But you, son of man, hear what I tell you. Don't be rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat that which I give you. When I looked, behold, a hand was stretched out to me, and behold, the scroll of a book was in it. He spread it before me. It was written within and without, and lamentations, mourning, and woe were written in it. Ezekiel chapter 3 He said to me, Son of man, eat what you find. Eat this scroll, and go, speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat the scroll. He said to me, Son of man, eat this scroll that I give you, and fill your belly and your bowels with it. Then I ate it. It was as sweet as honey in my mouth. He said to me, Son of man, go to the house of Israel, and speak my words to them. For you are not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. 
that to many peoples of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words you can't understand. Surely, if I sent you to them, they would listen to you. But the house of Israel will not listen to you, for they will not listen to me. For all the house of Israel are obstinate and hard-hearted. Behold, I have made your face hard against their faces, and your forehead hard against their foreheads. I have made your forehead as a diamond, harder than flint. Don't be afraid of them, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they are a rebellious house. Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, receive in your heart and hear with your ears all my words that I speak to you. Go to them of the captivity, to the children of your people, and speak to them, and tell them, This is what the Lord Yahweh says, whether they will hear or whether they will refuse. Then the Spirit lifted me up, and I heard behind me the voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be Yahweh's glory from his place. I heard the noise of the wings of the living creatures as they touched one another, and the noise of the wheels beside them, even the noise of a great rushing. So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit, and Yahweh's hand was strong on me. Then I came to them of the captivity at Tel Aviv who lived by the river Chebar and to where they lived. And I sat there overwhelmed among them seven days. At the end of seven days, Yahweh's word came to me, saying, Son of man, I have made you a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word from my mouth and warn them from me. When I tell the wicked, you will surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. That wicked man will die in his iniquity, but I will require his blood at your hand. Yet if you warn the wicked, and he doesn't turn from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he will die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. Again, when a righteous man turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he will die. Because you have not given him warning, he will die in his sin, and his righteous deeds which he has done will not be remembered. But I will require his blood at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the righteous man that the righteous not sin, and he does not sin, he will surely lie, because he took warning, and you have delivered your soul. Yahweh's hand was there on me, and he said to me, Arise, go out into the plain, and I will talk with you there. Then I arose and went out into the plain, and behold, Yahweh's glory stood there, like the glory which I saw by the river Chebar. Then I fell on my face, then the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. He spoke with me and said to me, Go, shut yourself inside your house. But you, son of man, behold, they will put ropes on you and will bind you with them, and you will not go out among them. I will make your tongue stick to the roof of your mouth so that you will be mute and will not be able to correct them, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with you, I will open your mouth and you shall tell them. This is what the Lord Yahweh says. He who hears, let him hear, and he who refuses, let him refuse, for they are a rebellious house. Chapter 4 You also, son of man, take a tile and lay it before yourself, and portray on it a city, even Jerusalem. Lay siege against it, build forts against it, and cast up a mound against it. Also set camps against it, and plant battering rams against it all around. Take for yourself an iron pan, and set it for a wall of iron between you and the city. Then set your face toward it. It will be besieged, and you shall lay siege against it. This shall be a sign to the house of Israel. Moreover, lie on your left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel on it. According to the number of the days that you shall lie on it, you shall bear their iniquity. For I have appointed the years of their iniquity to be to you a number of days, even three hundred ninety days. So you shall bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. Again, when you have accomplished these, you shall lie on your right side, and shall bear the iniquity of the house of Judah. I have appointed forty days, each day for a year, to you. You shall set your face toward the siege of Jerusalem, with your arm uncovered, and you shall prophesy against it. Behold, I put ropes on you, and you shall not turn yourself from one side to the other, until you have accomplished the days of your siege. Take for yourself also wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, and spelt, and put them in one vessel. Make bread of it. According to the number of the days that you will lie on your side, even three hundred ninety days, you shall eat of it. Your food which you shall eat shall be by weight, twenty shekels a day. From time to time you shall eat it. You shall drink water by measure, the sixth part of a hen. From time to time you shall drink. You shall eat it as barley cakes, and you shall bake it in their side with dung that comes out of man. Yahweh said, Even thus will the children of Israel eat their bread unclean among the nations where I will drive them. Then I said, Our Lord Yahweh, Behold, my soul has not been polluted, for from my youth up even until now I have not eaten of that which dies of itself, or is torn of animals. No abominable meat has come into my mouth. Then he said to me, Behold, I have given you cow's done for man's done, and you shall prepare your bread on it. Moreover he said to me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. They will eat bread by weight and with fearfulness. They will drink water by measure and in dismay, that they may lack bread and water, be dismayed one with another, and pine away in their iniquity. 